Welcome back to Today in AZ, Route 2021. Team 12's Vanessa Ramirez and Crystal Henderson are hitting the road every Friday this month, showing us Arizona's hidden road trips. Leaving from Phoenix, showing us different places to explore on the way to a final must-see spot. Yeah, so we've been to the Interstate Space Capsule and the History of Pharmacy Museum so far this morning. We've also located Crystal. Yeah, she's well, done good. shining the windows. It's now time for her to reveal where she is this morning. <laughs> so, are you in Arizona? <laughs> We're live at Biosphere 2 in Oracle. It's one of the world's most unique destinations dedicated to research and scientific discovery centered around our Earth, the first biosphere. I got three scientists to show us around. Bet you didn't think I was going to bring you to the rainforest in the middle of the desert, but it's possible here at Biosphere 2. So better put the umbrella up because we're in the rainforest biome. John, get under the umbrella here and tell us about this place. This is essentially a large, highly controlled greenhouse. There's over 100 different types of plants in here. Most of them are from South America around the Amazon basin, and it is modeled after a tropical system. And you can see it's, you know, it's raining right now, and we control that. A lot of these systems are getting warmer and drier. So we've done experiments in here where we've given our system, for example, a 70-day drought to look at how it responds. We've looked at how do the plants do under much warmer conditions. What we're hoping to be able to show is just how much we still need to learn about Earth systems and how a place like this can help us improve that understanding. So neat, let's go check out one of the other biomes. Oh, hey there. Did you know you're floating in 700,000 gallons of water in the world's largest experimental ocean? I'm gonna jump in with you. Katie, tell us about Ocean System. Being able to scuba dive in the middle of the Sonoran Desert is pretty unique, right? When I, people ask me what I do and I get to say I'm a marine biologist in the desert. This ocean uh, is incredibly unique in that it's not attached to any natural systems. So what we can do in here is we can kind of test these more novel and risky ideas, knowing that it's not gonna impact the natural ocean systems. And we can really see how it's going to affect everything from the corals to the microbes to the fish. So then we can then bring that data back and say this is either safe or not safe to try in the natural oceans. And the oceans are important to everyone all over the world. So this ocean allows us to be able to teach people in the desert about how important our oceans are. Aaron, where are we now in Biosphere 2? This is called the Landscape Evolution Observatory, and we call it LEO for short. This is the largest earth science experiment in the world. What we study here primarily is the flow of water through landscape systems. We've built these large, identical hill slopes. Water comes out of our sprinkler head systems that we've calibrated to be very rain-like. Watch as that rain moves through the landscape. We have an embedded network of thousands and thousands of sensors underneath. And some of the big questions that we have that we can answer with this is, when rain falls on the ground, how much do we actually maintain versus how much evaporates in this hot Arizona sun? When it rains in the mountains, how much water becomes available for us for drinking water farther downstream? This is kind of a blank canvas for us to further investigate those types of questions and differences that really inform our water storage and supply for years to come. Biosphere 2 is not only a hot spot for science and research, it's also a tourist destination. More than 3 million travelers have visited here in the past 30 years. Coming up next, I'll tell you how you can make this part of your next family's road trip. In the meantime, we're live in Oracle. Now back to you in the studio.